Hey everybody, this is Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. In today's video, I'm gonna walk through how to build a set of progress bars using WordPress blocks and the Frost theme. Now, you might ask, what can I use this for? And that's a pretty simple answer. There's several cases here actually. Uh, one, you can display the percentage of completion for products or tasks. Uh, you can use a set of progress bars to represent data. You can use it to showcase your skill sets and you can also use it to guide users through a multi-step process. Now, let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're gonna build what we're looking at here, which is a set of progress bars. Now, there's various contexts in which you could use this on a website. I uh, listed a few here at the introduction. Uh, the most common one is just a kind of true progress. What percentage of the either task or the service or uh, the product that you're building is completed. And so it's just a visual representation a lot of times people use this sort of in a roadmap sense of, hey, here are the things I'm working on. Here's the progress of each one. So this is what we're gonna build. And I'm just gonna go ahead into the uh, list view here just to quickly just show what this is gonna be made out of. And then we'll go back in and then build it. Uh, as you can see, each one of these items is built using a set of columns. Uh, and it, inside each uh, of the columns, you've got obviously two columns, one left-hand side sort of indicates uh, the progress that's made and then the right-hand side uh, is indicating what's left to do. And so uh, creatively, we're going to use the columns block, uh, the row block, a couple of paragraphs, the group block, spacer, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and create a page. Uh, and as I often do, I always wrap everything in a group. Uh, I'll explain why later. We're going to make this full width, uh, just do a little bit of uh, padding to it just to sort of set the the tone. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a set of columns. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to change the percentage of uh, these columns. Uh, the first column is going to be 100% because uh, as we're looking at this, this whole item is 100%. So we're showing that progress. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, and inside of here, I'm going to actually create a row block. And we're going to add uh, two paragraphs, item number one. And then also inside of the row, we're gonna say 100%. So this is the status. Uh, as you can see, what we wanna do is space these, um, the space between. So I'm gonna go inside of my row block and then I'm gonna select this. And what that does, it sort of uh, uses flex to align them uh, the way that we want. Now, underneath that row, we're going to add uh, a group, right? We're gonna add a group and this shows the progress that's made and so i will go through here uh, so inside of the column we're going to add a group and what we want to do is inside of that group i'm going to add a spacer and this is what will give us the height of the background color so we've got a spacer um, going back to the group i'm going to give the group a background color so now I'm going to go ahead and hit update. We'll take a quick peek and see how things look. And so uh, we're kind of getting there, right? Like we want the item and the, the percentage to be sitting right on top of this. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this group. We're going to set that top margin because it's by default incorporating the 30 per uh, 30 pixel block app. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and zero that out. And so now, as I refresh the screen, here's what we've got. Oops. Now that one's a little bit easier. Uh, and so uh, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go into list view. It's always easier to go ahead and just do it that way. Uh, we're gonna duplicate this. Now, uh, we'll very quickly um, change the column here. We want it to be 90%. Uh, generally, I always go back and uh, add the other 10% to the other column. Now we're going to have a, a little caveat here that I'm going to walk through in this case. Uh, and so inside of this group, um, okay, so inside of this column, we're going to go ahead and add the group that's sort of similar to the other side. Uh, and what we want to do is inside of that group, we're going to add the spacer as well. Uh, we're going to make this 20 pixels and we want the gray shade. Uh, so um, inside of that group, we're going to go ahead and add the gray background uh, to it. Now, you'll see that this aligns at the top. And so uh, in this case, we actually want to go into the columns block. We want to use this 
and align the bottom. This will then align everything in the bottom and it leaves this row sort of sitting above. Uh, now, uh, obviously we wanna change this to 90% because that's the um, progress that we're gonna be made. Now you can see this little space here and this is because of block gap. So inside of the columns uh, block itself, we wanna remove that block spacing. So we wanna take this, so by default, um, Frost uses 30 pixels for block gap. Uh, and so if we zeroed that out, you can see what happens there, that goes away. I'm gonna go ahead and update this and we can uh, take a quick peek and see where we're at. So now we've got uh, two of them. And uh, similarly up here, we also uh, want to remove the uh, the block gap. You'll watch that grow there. So um, now that we've got the second columns, this becomes a lot easier to duplicate. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just uh, duplicate that. This is gonna be item three. We want this to be 80%. So we'll just go ahead, change that. Gotta go to the second column, move that to 20%. And then we'll go here. And then we'll just go ahead and duplicate this a few more times. Uh, and then it will give us exactly what we're looking for. So we want that to be 70%. Gotta make this column 30%. Duplicate this, I think, one more time, one or two more times. Uh, go ahead, make that 60. We'll reduce this and we'll go ahead. I believe this has six down to 50%. We'll just do one more here. Uh, we'll call that item six. Of course, you can call these things, label them however uh, you want. All right, so we've done that. I'm going to go ahead and hit update and we'll refresh our screen. And as you can see, this now is exactly how we want it to be. Uh, now, for instance, if, uh, you know, maybe we're talking about our skill sets, uh, this might be something like Figma and the bottom one might be sort of Photoshop. So if you're a designer, you can sort of showcase your skill sets. Uh, maybe we're talking about different types of coding, maybe there's CSS or JavaScript and stuff like that. So uh, that's generally how uh, these sort of progress bars have been used on websites. Go ahead and just back out of that. Now, one of the reasons why I use the group block uh, is because in this case, uh, there might be a reason you want to add a background color to it. So for instance, um, maybe we wanted to do this. Now, what you'll see here, it's the same color that we're using. So either we can go in to this group and maybe we want to do a little bit something different with design uh, and something like that. I'll do an update. We'll just sort of see how this looks. So if you have a, a instance where you have a, a full width section, you wanted to do things a little bit differently, you could. Um, or you could backing up, do something as drastic as this, which is switching that. I'm gonna switch the text to white. Uh, and of course, these groups need to have a different color. So, whoops, we'll go to, to white and um, actually we'll do this just as sort of an illustration of design. Um, and then you can see how that looks. If you wanna do a little bit more of a striking uh, design look to it. Now you also might be wondering like, how does this get implemented into uh, a page or a post? And I'm gonna go ahead and since we've got a post ready, uh, I will go ahead and do this. Uh, the Frost WordPress theme does have this as a pattern. And so you could simply just go up to the inserter, uh, go to patterns, go to featured, uh, scroll down and you can see here, this is the pattern that comes in. Go ahead and update that post and pop that open. And you can see the sort of the progress bars there. Now, a couple other quick ways to do uh, the design here, going into list view, since this is in a group, uh, what we could do is go in and add a border to the group if we wanted to do something like this. Uh, obviously you would wanna do a little bit of padding Go ahead and hit update and you can see how that looks. Uh, so you could do what feels like a little bit more of like a, um, 
a card or something like that. And if you needed to add margin, top or bottom, like if you wanted to space this out in your post a little bit, you could do that. Go ahead and hit update for refresh. This gives it a little bit more uh, of a look. And uh, if you're using this in a chart sense, maybe you want to even do something like uh, this, which would be just add a paragraph. And this might be sample data for progress made. Uh, if you're using this it's sort of like a caption, go ahead and center the text. You can make this smaller. Uh, I did add bottom margin to that group. So I'll go ahead and remove the bottom margin. Maybe we'll zero that out uh, as well. This paragraph uh, playing around the margins a little bit if you want to move that up. Uh, we'll be able to do that here just by zeroing that out. Maybe 10 pixels. That looks a little too close. Go ahead and hit update and you can see now you've got what looks like a, a chart with a little bit of a caption. Uh, and you, as you can see, the WordPress block editor is really, really good with um, people who can get creative and use different layouts and stuff like that. So again, this is a very basic progress bar. Uh, you can build as many as you want. You can remove any of the ones that come with the pattern, change the colors of the background uh, to suit your brand and um, so forth. So that's uh, that's about it for this one. It's pretty, pretty simple, but it's effective. And I think a lot of people use this. Uh, and so it's easy to duplicate, copy and paste, move around uh, as well. So I hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough on how to build progress bars with WordPress blocks and the Frost WordPress theme and look forward to doing some more for you guys.